Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is day 11 and it's another baking one. I'm sorry guys, I have to get done before Christmas so yeah. I just have to like stress on and do this. Um, um, so yeah, today I was going to make gingerbread but I was missing a few ingredients so I didn't get to make the dough yesterday so yeah but we are going to make Serena Kake or Serena cookies today which to me is a tradition um, well it wasn't in our house but my nan used to make it and we just love them so I'm going to make that and she always did it a little bit different because we had people allergic to almonds and um, she always made it without the topping so that's what I'm going to do so I'm just going to turn you guys around go wash my hands and I'll be ready okay so let's just get started in this bowl right here I have 250 grams um, of flour and 100 grams of sugar and I'm using my Kenwood machine and I'm just pouring all this into here and on this plate I have 150 grams of butter and it would be smart to take the butter out a good amount of time before you start making this because you're not going to melt it you're going to crumble it into your dough so yeah here I have two teaspoons of vanilla sugar and two teaspoons of what's it called baking batter baking soda I think you guys call it baking soda so dumping that into here as well. I have one egg which will be added later on. Um, well, you'd think, I actually think this recipe will be easier for me in a different bowl and doing your food. Give me a sec, I'm just going to change out everything here. Okay, so I put everything into a different bowl because it's going to be easier. Because this recipe, when thinking about it, after reading through it, I remembered it was 10 times easier making it with my hands. So, now I have all the dry ingredients in my bowl. I have flour, sugar, um, vanilla sugar and baking soda or baking powder in this bowl and now I'm just going to start adding the butter I'm just taking a little bit at a time just to make it easier on myself and what I do I always coat the sugar with flour because then it won't stick so much to my hands and yes my hands are clean it's just easier to make this recipe like this. You yeah. need to crumble the butter into the dough or to make the dough into the flour and the mix to make the dough. So that was the first little batch of butter. Taking another. And that was my oven. These are done on 200 degrees Celsius in the middle of the oven for about 10 minutes. They get a little bit golden in color, but they are not supposed to be dark at all. And with this recipe, you can actually make two different types of cakes. Because once you've done all of these, you can then divide, let's say you want to make the other type of cake, you divide this in half and then you put like one tablespoon of cocoa powder 
into it and you then have another one and you make like chess pieces where there's two black and two white ones so yeah or two cocoa ones and two white ones oh this butter doesn't want to come into my bowl there we go but I kind of like this one better I'm not so fond of the other one so yeah and as you can see I'm getting kind of a grainy um, kind of dough using my fist in the bottom as well even though I do get a lot of dough on my hands and you have to work it really really well so you know that you have gotten all the flour and everything mixed with the butter and if you are squeamish you could always use gloves but I have training as a chef as well as a waitress, so I'm not squeamish. I wanted to become a um, pastry chef, is that what you call it? No. One of those that decorate cakes and such, that was my dream as a kid. So yeah. So now you can see my dough is all grainy. See that? And this is actually perfect, so now we're just going to remove this off of my hands. I'm going to take a fork like this and now I'm just going to whisk this egg a little bit or beat the egg a little bit. See, it doesn't need much and you're going to dump it into your dough like that and now you're going to mix that into your dough and yes I'm using my hands for this as well because it is just easier to do it this way for me and now you'll see it starts to kind of gather into a proper dough because of the fluids in the egg. And this is starting to become a perfect result. Just gonna have to pick some dough off my hands like this. Like that. you can see we have a little dough in here so now I'm gonna go wash off my hands and then I'll finish up so I have now moved on to the kitchen table because it has bigger space and I have my dough right here and I have a knife and a fork so let's just get to it and make these cakes First off, I'm going to get all the dough out. Like this. And I'm actually going to need the dough a little bit more on here.
and I'm going to divide that into two because it's easy to work with half of it. Now you're going to make a big sausage like about this thick. It's about two and a half centimeters thick. And now you're going to make I would say it's centimeter thick pieces. Maybe a little bit over a centimeter. And as you can see, we get a fair few cakes out of one batch or half of one. So now I'm just moving all these side. And I'm going to do the other dough, half of the dough. Get it ready. Like that. And that one. Do the other half. Same procedure as last year, Miss Sophie. Same procedure as every year, James. I see the thinner part, I'm cutting it a little bit thicker. Like that. Now what you do is you make a little bowl. Like this. On. Take a tray. And you put this on your tray, push it down a little bit with your hands, like that. You take your fork and you just make these lines in it, like that. And just move on to the next one. I'll show you one more and then I'm going to... So I'm just push it down a little bit, use my fork, like this, and that's the cake's done. Now you just have to fry them in the oven and I will put pictures on my blog of the finished product. So, same procedure as last year, or well, yesterday. So, one sec. Putting my tripod with butter, but that's okay. <laughs> so that was what Vlogmas day eleven. And if you do decide to make these, tweet me. I'm at Nemo, and let me know that you made them. Let me know what you think of them. You can also comment on my video and tell me if you posted the picture somewhere. Or just tell me if you like them. If you don't want to post a picture, just let me know. So I love you guys so much. Bye. See you tomorrow.